no matter what sometimes it feels like, sometimes the knees don't want to bend like they're supposed to, but knees bend. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Well, Mike, yeah. Mike just coughs like I got all these papers on it. It ain't that long. It ain't, it ain't nothing for him. If you would, look at Mark 11. Thank you, Jesus. Let's begin at the 23rd verse. Good. For verily, you got it? I still have pages turned. But God is still good. He is still good. Hallelujah. For verily I say unto you, that whatsoever shall say unto the mountain, Be thou removed, and be cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he has said shall come to pass. He said, how whatsoever he says. Therefore I say unto you, what things so you desire when you pray. When you pray. Believe that ye shall receive them and ye shall have them. Ye shall have them. And when ye stand praying, forgive. If ye have all against any that your Father also, which is in heaven, may forgive you your transgression, transgression, transpass. But if you, even if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father, which is in heaven, forgive you your transpass. Back up to 24, there it said, what things soever you desire when you pray, believe that ye shall receive them, and ye shall have them. Ye shall have them. This morning, if I had to leave a subject, if I had to, you know, we look for it, and so. It said will be, what can you believe God for? What can you believe God for? You see, in this day and time that within the body of Christ, there's a whole lot of sickness going on. Not, in, not only in the light of life, but I was in the hospital three days this week and with my mama and I sit in the waiting room, I see pastors, I saw about four pastors, they were sitting in the waiting room with the bowels and things and we began to talk and their members in the hospital. Some got two members, some got three members, some is sickness in the body of Christ. Come on. But I come to the realization that the enemy knows your future. Yes. And if he can get your body sick, yes. then you won't be able, it's hard for you to do what God wants you to do when your body is sick. Yes. You, 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 can't, you can't go minister if your body is sick. Because if you, you need someone to minister to you. But when you go, the enemy knows that on your way, he'll say, you, you, you know you don't feel good. You, you, you know your legs are bothering. Then sometimes we'll, we'll just stop. Amen. You know you need to go visit Sister Mary, but you don't feel like it yourself. The body of Christ have lost energy within their body. But God 
Bible says when you pray, pray and believe. You know what? The devil don't mind you calling pastor to pray. He don't mind you calling Sister Bell to pray. But he don't want to get you to pray. You know, he, he don't want you to pray because he knows there's power in prayer. If you look at the crackhead, you don't see too many crackheads in the hospital. I was wondering, why is it that the crackheads do crack? All the time they go to the hospital is when they don't get overdose. You don't see an alcoholic in the hospital. They have alcoholic numb, they don't have too much. What it heals with the saints. What we had too much of. What have we had too much of to make us see? Talk about my body now. But we need to speak to some of these mountains in our lives. And he said, we speak to the mountain. Now somebody said, look, preacher, I ain't got no mountains in my life. Keep on living. A mountain gonna come. But you say you don't have one, but you know, mountain is not always affliction. Look in your pocketbook. That's a mountain. Because some of them, your pocketbooks and wallets is like a temperature in Alaska. <laughs> it's down below zero. <laughs> Church ticket, that's a mountain. That's a mountain that you're looking at. If you don't believe that uh, your children's acting up, can't have, don't have no control over. That's a mountain. That's a mountain. Your body filled with affliction. That's a mountain. And so just because your body is not hurting, you still have a mountain. How strong it's your face today. Do you have the power to speak to that mountain in your life? Come on. And tell that mountain, mountain, be thou removed. You see, when you got a mountain to climb, sometimes a mountain climber will get all the equipment that it has to climb the mountain. He'll grab a hold to his rope. Yeah. He'll put his spikes on. Yeah. And he put his cleats in his hand where he grab hold. Because he's making preparation to climb that mountain. Yeah. And you see the mountain in our life, they ain't just got there. Sometimes the mountain that's in our lives, they, they begin as small mountains. Mama would say that come out as a mole hill. In a mole hill, keep climbing and climbing, and it will make a mountain. But I know God said that my grace is sufficient. And no matter how long and how many times that you've been knocked down, you need to tell the devil that I'm going to take the eight count, and I'm going to get up, and I'm going to still stand. My body might be hurting, my heart 